Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I connected three knitting needles together because I am going to make some bell pepper. Um, I did this a while ago but I am going to make it over because um, I think that I had way too much white on the old ones. So first I mix a light green with a dark green and I get this color and I'm taking a third of this and mixing with some white so I get a lighter green out of this little piece here. So I rolled the light green and the white here out on a setting 8, that is the second smallest on my pasta machine. And from the white I am cutting kind of small strip like this. And I am placing some of these small strips between uh, the knitting needles here in these uh, divots they give. Just here and there. I don't want too much in there and I don't want too little in there. So I'm just placing them. Then I am going to take my light green clay here and I am just making some nice edges for me so it's easier to wrap this all the way around the knitting needles without overlaying it at all. So I'm just doing this really carefully and making sure that my white stays in place. And don't make it overlap when you are uh, hitting all the way around. So I'm just cutting off the excess here and making sure that it is nice and secure all the way around the knitting needles. I roll out the dark green here in a middle setting so that it is thicker than the light green but not too thick. Uh, and again I am just cutting it off so that it is easier to pack around the uh, light green here. And I am again putting it all the way around and I'm not overlaying here at the end. And then I am rolling everything together. So it's uh, going to be nice and smooth. I'm rolling it and making sure that it, everything is really nice and stuck to the knitting needles. Make sure your knitting needles are made of metal because they can go into the oven wood pieces. Um, the clay would stick to your wood uh, knitting needles so please use metal. I found these in a second hand store and please do take some that is quite small because you don't want them to be too big when you're doing this. I'm using a ball tool to kind of make a um, indented um, surface on these so they look more real when we're going to cut them after baking. So I made one with red as well uh, and all you do is twist these on the knitting needles and you can um, take them out. They might need a bit of force but you can do that. And now you just need a sharp blade so that you can cut slices off here. Slice them as thin as possible. You can either do a whole slice of the cane or half slices of the cane. Um, I like the half slices better, they look more realistic. Um, but you can do it just like you want to. And now you can just use them for whatever you need uh, some bell pepper for. I think I want to make a uh, little piece of bread with cheese on, so let's go do that right now. Let's use this for something. In the info box below I have a link for how I made these breads here. So now I am just going to mix some yellow with some white and I had a little too much yellow here so I actually mixed a little more white in there. I'm using these small, um, I think they're actually meant for wiring. Uh, but they are so uh, perfect for making small holes in the clay. I have two different sizes here so I am uh, just poking out a lot of holes. 
uh, the yellow clay here is rolled out on the second thinnest setting um, on my pasta machine. I have this square cutter that is perfect for a square of cheese and now you just cut out as many as you want and use some Fimo liquid here to um, place on the bread on the side where you want the cheese. I did that off camera because I first tried with some yellow clay that was rolled out too thick uh, so I had to do that over. Um, so there are female liquids on mine to start with. And I'm just popping on the cheese here and then some of these bell peppers to make it look like a nice cheesy um, piece of bread here. <laughs> So that's all there is for the video today. I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you will too. So thank you for watching and bye.